Abuhai, Kamastakayo, and welcome to another video. And yes, another unboxing. Super excited to unbox the plants in here. These are from my amazing girlfriend Edith. Can't remember exactly what plants are in here, but I do know there's quite a few Hawthia and Gymnocalisium in this box. And knowing Edith, there's probably some surprise plants in here as well. So yeah, let's get this box open. I know there's a lot of pots in here as well. Some nice quality square pots that I like to use. And some small round pots as well. Right, I shall get everything out of the box. I know Edith has kindly numbered all the plants as well, so I know what's what. So these are all the pots. Very nice quality square pots in various sizes. Pretty much impossible to get these types of pots here. They're usually always made of a thin flimsy plastic that just fall to bits after a short amount of time. Also got some of these small round ones. Again, nice quality. I'll show you what I'm planning to put in each one of these in an upcoming video. All right, let's start unwrapping the plants. Edith has included a bit of info on certain plants as well, so I shall put that up on screen for you for those ones. This one isn't numbered, so I'm not sure what this first one is. Oh nice, it's a variegated gymno. Lovely dark colour. Are you sure this is Gymnocalisium Mahanovici? See that little bit of red variegation there. Right, this one's in a little box and I wasn't recording as I was opening it, so apologies for that. But you can see we have what appears to be another variegated gymno. If it's the one I think it is, then Edith and myself aren't sure exactly what gymno this is. It has pretty long spines on it for a gymno. Nice, we've got some loose offsets from it as well. That's absolutely stunning. So yeah, not sure what Gymno this is. It's likely a hybrid. It looks to be a prolific offsetter as well, which is nice, as the babies have a chance of coming through variegated as well. These are the four little offsets from it. These should root up nicely in some Akadama. Closer look at the mother plant. Amazing spines on this. Almost like an Astrophyton Capricorn spines, but this is definitely a Gymno, and it would be impossible to create a hybrid between an Astro and a Gymno. Lovely variegation in it as well. Alright, this is marked with number 8, which looking at the list Edith has made is a Warthia. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. As a lot of you know, I absolutely love Hawarthia. Definitely my favourite type of succulent. That's a stunner. Lovely shine to it. Nice markings and nice and healthy. Alright, number two, which is another Hawarthia. Look at the shine on this one. Lovely big chunky windows. That is an absolutely stunning Hawthia. Very nice size as well. Right, number 14. Not unwrapping these in order, just taking them as they come. There's another Gymno. It's got pumice all over it. I'll just clean it up quickly so we can see more clearly. Lovely form on this one. Edith said this recently flowered as well, so if I find that picture, I'll put that up on screen for you now. Alright, number 16, which is another Gymno. Some looking spines on this one. That's a gorgeous gymno. Not sure if the camera is picking the true colour of this up, but to my eyes it's like a bluish grey colour. 
nice roots on this one. Lovely looking gymno. Really like the form on this one. Alright, this one's got a heart on it, so I'm not sure what's in here. Oh wow, more variegation. That's stunning once again. And again, I'm guessing this is another Mahanovici. Some free cat for her as well. Thank you, babe. <laughs> Love this one. Nice mix of colors. Right, number 12, another Hawthier, and I can't wait to see this one. Oh wow, that's absolutely stunning. This is a type of Picta, which are some of the most beautiful looking Hawthier. Amazing color, almost white. I'm speechless, that's just awesome looking. Right, 15, which is another Gymno. Wow, it's big. That's stunning as well. Really nice, big, healthy plant. Lovely spines and form. Nice roots as well. Thank you, my love. That's a stunner. All right, number four. Another water, and I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Absolutely stunning once again. Been after one of these for a while. Atrofusco watermelon. A little bit stretched, but the new growth should come through nice and compact once it gets a bit more light. Alright, number five, another wish list of Warthia, this one. Warthia grown Waldi, absolutely gorgeous. Don't see many Hawarthia with spots like this on their windows. Very happy to have one of these now. Number 18, which is a variegated Gasteria. Oh wow, look at that. Love the variegated stripes on it. Lovely little Gasteria. And I don't think this one gets too large either, but will form a nice cluster over time. Right, number six, another Hawthia. Another stunner. A little bit dehydrated, but that's understandable being in the box for a little while. This will look amazing once it plumps up. Alright, number 11. Another Warthia and another I'm really looking forward to seeing. Wow, look at that. Amazing colour and patterns on the windows. That is a stunning looking Hawthia. Number nine, which is a Hawthia Morgani. Wow, lovely sized plant. That's stunning again, amazing looking windows. Wow. 
or some thick roots. Thank you again, my love. This is absolutely amazing. All right, number 10, another type of Morgani. Absolutely gorgeous again. Just love the windows on these. Reminds me of cracked ice. Stunning. I'm getting lost for words. Number one, another wish list to Warthia, this one. And once again, stunning. Warthia Berry. Always wanted a pure one of these. You see a lot of hybrids of this one as it's very easy to hybridize. Gorgeous Hawthia, very happy to have this one. Number 13, which is a Euphorbia. Very nice Euphorbia. I've seen larger ones of these and they look cool because they grow leaves from the top and they look a little bit like pineapples, which is why this one is sometimes called the pineapple plant. Lovely addition to the Euphorbia collection. Right, number seven, and probably the Warthia I'm most looking forward to seeing. Can't wait to turn this over and see it. Oh wow, that is awesome. Warthia Silver Tarantula. Ever since I saw these, I've wanted one, but they're pretty pricey and sought after. Even though they have a high price tag, they just sell instantly. Very desirable for Warthia. And has an awesome name as well. Right, this one, Edith Scent Already Potted. Lovely shiny green gymno. Again, I'm guessing it's uh, Mahanovici or Fred Ricci. Lovely little gymno. Right, we have a bunch of seeds as well, mostly gymnos and astros by the looks of it. I'll get them out of the bag so we can see exactly what's here. Some super kabutos. Can't wait to get sowing these. And some variegated gymnos, awesome. I like these little plastic vials they're in as well. Then we have some Shinshoa, which are a type of Astrophyte Mysterious. I'm not sure what these ones are, there's no name, but looking at the seeds, they look like Astrophytum seeds. Some more unknowns, again, looking at those seeds, I'm guessing they're Gymnocalysium. And some Asterius Akabana, which is awesome. These are red flowering Asterius. Then some Astrophytum Kiko, which are very cool looking plants as well. So that's all the amazing plants from Edith. Thank you so very much, my love. Absolutely gorgeous plants. I saw a lot of pictures of these that Edith showed me, but pictures or even video never do these plants justice in person or plantson as edith and i say they just look absolutely incredible so thank you so much babe you're awesome now there was some other plants in this box but i can't show you those as they're gifts for other people but you'll be able to see those on their channels in the coming weeks and hopefully my friend phil will record a little unboxing video that i'll upload on this channel as well as there was some lovely hawthia in here for you mate hopefully by the time this video is up that video should already be on the channel so yeah, I shall get these potted up and as always show you some more footage at the end. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You all be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salam Bye for now.